I did my uh, visual inspection and at first this looks like a uh, very nice set till you start noticing the uh, cosmetic problems. I found um, some of these chips in uh, quite a few of the collets. They're from the, uh, well they're probably from the uh, slitting saw. I think it should all come apart now. And there it is. I'm making progress, but uh, every time I'm hitting the uh, the bronze patch here, the uh, tool bit uh, get pushed uh, sideways. As you can see, I've got the spindle mounted. And I'm using a bit of copper shim stock to uh, protect the thread on the end of the spindle. Before I start polishing, let's have a quick look at the uh, current state of the uh, journals. Here's a look at the uh, rear journal. Now that I have uh, reassembled the spindle, it's time to add a motor and uh, hook up a frequency drive. So let's find out if I can get this old machine uh, running again. Here it is, my new, not so new motor. One more uh, challenge. This is an uh, 18 millimeter tapered drill bit. Twenty hertz. Oh, and uh, I tried uh, to pull out the bearing, like someone uh, suggested uh, in the comments, but uh, I couldn't make that work. Too bad, because uh, it could have saved a lot of time. I suspect the uh, bearing broke, because there was too much tension on the belt. These uh, small bearings cannot take much of a radial load, and uh, since the pulley is uh, sticking out pretty far, that gives uh, the belt some extra leverage. And there's the compressor kicking in. The uh, sparking gets more uh, consistent, so I think I'm almost there. Well, oh, pretty rough. Still pretty decent. Now let's uh, add a colored nut. Now that certainly hasn't uh, improved things. These are uh, going to be the new studs that go under the uh, tail stock and the uh, slides. I'm going to thread them with a uh, very coarse thread. That way it will take less than a quarter turn to lock and uh, unlock the tailstock and the uh, and the slides. I uh, loosened up the belt and I'm going to uh, turn the spindle by hand. At uh, slow speeds the uh, electric motor doesn't have enough power anyway. 
and uh, at higher speeds uh, I risk running the uh, uh, chuck into the uh, cross lights. I'll try removing a little bit more material here. This here is a 400 grit diamond hone. It's pretty flat. So I'm thinking it should work for removing a bit of material. Twenty four zero five, and it looks nicely parallel. So, this is what I'm going to do for the next couple of hours. I will uh, report back when uh, something interesting is happening. That's deep enough. Let's uh, break this thing as far as I can uh, remember. I've never broken a tap in my whole damn life. And I'm hoping that's about to change. Otherwise, I'm looking pretty silly here with this big hammer. Haha! <laughs> Easy. I just uh, changed the insert and uh, that made a huge difference. This side has been cut with the new insert, this one with the old. Let's take a cut. Perfect. Maybe that was a bit much hot as well. Well, that's too bad. It doesn't fit. I made this part too long. The hole is four and a half millimeter. I made this about four point eight. So back into the uh, four jaw it goes. This uh, I got from Banggood. I think it was somewhere in the beginning of the year after I reviewed the uh, cheap collet set that uh, turned out to be not so cheap after all. That might be a little better, but uh, I'm not impressed. Yeah, it is a little better. But still, not impressed. Did 
Did you see that? So now I'm going to set the uh, center height using those two extra set screws I uh, installed. And the tip comes up a bit. 45, 7, 8, 7, 45, 90. <laughs> Pretty close already. This is one of those gauges that I uh, cut to a uh, small Oh, it doesn't fit uh, From behind the camera It also looks like a decent scratch The uh, thread pitch is correct And check out this uh, cool chip I got on uh, cut number 3 That's beautiful. It's been almost a week since I ran the uh, threading tool into the workpiece and I'm getting over the worst of my uh, frustration, disappointment, anger, uh, insecurities and I'm ready to try again. And I'm back. Back to making a uh, backing plate for this ER32 color chuck. And if you have been watching my uh, previous video you probably know why. If not, maybe that's for the best. And I think we lost the tip. I think there's a small piece missing there. It's hard to see. Yeah, let's try it again. Why not? Make it a lighter cut. back to 400 RPM. Nah, that best of cuts terrible. <sighs> that almost went sideways. These are not really absolute measurements, but I would say this one is even uh, slightly uh, better. But really, there's not that much between these uh, three uh, threaded holes. <laughs> 